Ryan, two Joshes. Josh, Josh, pretty. It's going in. Yes. Can't believe it's the car. <laughs> That's not bad for the first time meeting everyone. That's about 80%. All right. First day, getting people eased into everything. We hit them with a the core circuit. Six different movements. We did three and a circuit, and then uh, after three rounds of that, we did another three movements, um, and we did two rounds of that second three. Now, since it's day one, we figured we'd hit arms, just nice and easy. Everyone's been traveling a long way, so we got skull crushers, 12, 10, 8, super set with barbell or sorry, dumbbell bicep curls. We got some pretty yoked. We got some pretty yoked fools here. I'm not gonna we got some real. Got some real big dudes, and I think I'm pretty good on, on people's names now. There you go, Ben. Look at those triceps. Victor, that a boy? There we go. Oh, I see you, Will. I see you. Ryan over there. Ooh, let's look at the work. Let's look, look at the work. Nice. Very nice. Michael, where are you from? Wichita, Kansas. Kansas? Yes, sir. You got a couple people from Missouri and Kansas in the house. You're, where are you from? Dallas. Oh, Casey's from Dallas. I like it. Oh, there, there is. That might be the biggest pipes we got in the building. Oh, there's. Ooh, ooh, good hit. Next up, we got reverse barbell curls, and then we also got single arm. I don't know if you tricep counting, extension. You did over a thousand. Yeah, I tuck that elbow and tuck that elbow. The next try to go straight. Down. There you go. That tat's looking good. Next one. Oh yeah, we're working. We're hey. working. That's not. Nice. Facial expressions by Brian there. There you go, Tyler. Veronica? Yes. Nice. The ladies are killing it right now. Yes. Jeff. John. Michael. Oh, we're starting to bring down the swag bags. Are we bringing down the swag bags for oh, people? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, people are going to freak out when they see these. As we get people working out, we're also setting up the goodie bags. Each person on this retreat is getting over $800 worth of free swag. <laughs> Starts off with a douchebag backpack, ultra running shoes for everyone. Um, we're getting Mobot water bottles and foam rollers, the mats from Lululemon, um, the G2G bar, the good to go bars, and Gymshark. So pretty insane amount of swag. Each with their name on it. Get out of here, that's ridiculous. Go through these swag bags. I'm really excited. So I'm like a kid on Christmas. Like, <laughs> I don't even get one, but I'm like a kid on Christmas. So. Break it down. After each workout, we'll break it down. Who runs this shit? We run this shit. Who runs this shit? We run this shit. I'm gonna know it's in the house. Ooh. Been a really good day one. I've lost my voice, but everyone should have their swag bags now. First workouts in the books, first cardio sessions in the books. We're now at the very first dinner. So, oh, what do you got here, my man Harrison? <laughs> Harrison's from Hawaii. Hello. Hawaii. How are we doing? What do you got here, man? So I got you a flower lay. What? Which comes um. That's so dope. A flower. So this is my a drill. Drill. Oh my gosh. So this is an orchid lay. Thank you. That's so intense. And this one, this one's a very special one. Yeah, what's I made this, I made this two days ago. Did you really? This, this is a traditional kukui nut lay. How, how do you say that? Kukui nut lay. And then uh, in Hawaii, they usually, usually they give, um, they usually give plastic kukui nut lays at the airport and such. Okay. But this one, this is a very rare one. It's real. Is, this is from my halal. My, me and my halal brothers made this. Really? I, I dance hula. So me and my uh, kumu, which is teacher in Hawaiian. We, uh, I asked him if we can go and make a lay and sure enough we that did it. That is so it. cool. So these, this is, I wanted to give this to you Thank as you. a special gift from Hawaii. Oh. So that will never die and I we'll love, always have that. This will be on display at my house. <laughs> this thing is so cool. I have, uh, I, I, I've never seen one of these like real. This is a, this is, this is hard to find. I've seen a, a plastic one before. Yeah. But I've never seen one of these. So this, I always like decorating with things that mean something to me, and this definitely means something to me. So thank you, man. Absolutely. I appreciate you. Absolutely. Harrison, thank you so much, man. And these smell really good. You brought yeah. this from Hawaii, like the flowers from Hawaii. Yeah. Just got to go over. Everyone got a pair of these in a different colorway. These are a sneak peek at the fitness culture, the FC ones. So it's the very first edition of the fitness culture ultra shoe. This one's a good, like, all around. I love these, Jake loves these. 
he trains in these pretty much. And then they have more of like a Metcon one here too, but uh, that colorway, oh, that was designed by this man right here. With, oh, my, this guy right with, a, here. with a little bit of like, yeah, that looks good, Chris. <laughs> I'm super excited for it. It's a little windy out here. Oh, it's spike ball. We got three quarts over here for spike ball. All right, so here we got Buffalo ball. Buffalo ball is played usually two on two or three on three. Got a med ball. You toss it. Try to toss it to an open area. And if you do, you get a point. Or if they drop it, you get a point. Oh, point. Point team here. So there is some strategy in it, and being strong helps. up people coming in from our early morning run just gonna jump straight into yoga but it's a little chilly out here today it's probably high 50s right now oh that sun's creeping in though feels so good Travis yep how are you this morning good how are you good we got Lindsay who will be taking us through our yoga flow this morning I'm trying to I was just trying to figure out where Alex at because we went on this run I came back and I couldn't find them, but then I noticed way up there in the rocks, getting those B-roll shots. That a boy, Alec. Good job. So proud. Everyone has gone to breakfast. I can't remember the last time. It was just me outdoors, birds chirping. I can barely hear the buzz of a couple engines. But I think what I'm gonna do right this very second is just a little 10 minute meditation. It's been a while since I've done that. And I feel like there's probably no better place on earth right now, maybe somewhere along the beach, but a little just chill out, kind of ground yourself, think of what you're grateful for, and just let everything go and start the day. Not to seek out a tiny corner of the mind where the sun always shines, is to open ourselves to every time. It's a speed leg day here, so we're doing, first thing, speed deadlift. Five sets of three, super set with broad jumps. So, we're doing a speed day because we want to Zion and hiking later. So, we got broad jumps and we got the speed deadlifts. After you guys do five rounds of that, you got speed back squats, four sets of three, pausing for a second below parallel and then exploding up. Speed squat. So, today on the speed squat, what we're going to do is pause for a second right below parallel. So, you come down, pause, and then show down below. Sound effects. <laughs> That's gonna be super set with dumbbell vertical jumps. Dumbbell vertical jumps, going down, holding for five seconds, exploding up for five jumps, and then after that fifth one, holding in a squat for another five seconds. Um, and then we got a, a tri set to finish things off. We got a speed reverse lunge, three each leg. Super set with cycle jumps or just plyometric um, single leg alternating jump lunges. If you can do a cycle jump, do a cycle jump. And then the last one on that is a sliding hamstring curl. Um, three sets of five on there. So people are going to get after it. Start up. 
Who's gonna quit on me? Who's gonna quit on me? Come on, get low, 90. Hold it. Come on, come on. You can do it. Down the home stretch. Come on, don't quit on me now. You made it this far. Yeah, hold it. Woo! I bring it in, bring it in. Damn Sally. Damn that Sally. All right, let's break it down now. Break it down. Come on, get in here. Good work today. Do whatever you need to do to get your legs back a little bit because we got an amazing hike today. Yeah. Yeah. All right, you guys remember? Who runs this shit? We run this shit. Who runs this shit? We run this shit. All my dogs in the house. All my dogs in the house. Good job, good job. We should probably get a photo that way if there's any faces missing. Ready? Just kidding, it's a video. Um, <laughs> but we're gonna be hiking Angel's Woo! Landing today. Everyone keep your hands and feet inside the ride. <laughs> if anyone falls off, I'm not jumping after you. So don't fall off, okay? Hiking one of the scariest hikes in here in Zion since 2004. Seven people have died. Hopefully, actually that's an old sign. It's now 14 people. Hopefully after today, it's still only 14 people. So this is actually my favorite part of Angel's Landing. Start walking on the chain and you're about, I don't know, right at about 1400 feet down on either side. Just enough to make your butthole pucker a little bit. That's what it looks like right there. Just holding on to the chain. That is nice and high. All right, I, I lied. This is the best part of the hike, pretty much. 180 cliffs on either side. Wow. <laughs> Best part, except for the end. You just get to sunbathe a little. A little bit of a, a little bit of a track traffic jam up here at 5,700 feet elevation. Oh, that tree right there is the tree of life. Because if it's not there, some of these people are going off. We came. Well, it's actually better on the way down. We came weird, back from that way. I'm good. All the way over there. I'm not really thirsty. Hike, though. You ever done anything like this, Michaela? Do what? Great. John, how many times have you done this? Three. He's actually doing it with his eyes closed. You guys can't see because he's wearing glasses. <laughs> he's, he's blind, actually. First time? Yep. First time. Worse or better than you thought in terms of heights? Worse. Yeah. Worse. <laughs> it's pretty high. Yeah, you don't gotta be tough, man. I'm not tough on my YouTube channel all the time. Like, you can definitely just look at that view. Next one we're gonna do is that one over there, observation point. And we did it. For the second time today, I found myself all alone at the end of the path. But I got these guys coming. Woo! Did it. Good job, team. Made it to the top of Angel's Landing successfully without anyone falling off. We still got to go back, so we're only 50% of the way there. Time to uh, get some.